Right, so today, my buddy Mark and I are going to turn this 55 gallon drum into a pig drinker. And to do that, we've got the stainless steel nipples, some three quarter to half inch brass fittings, some three quarter inch copper fittings, stainless steel washers, Teflon tape, a 3 16 inch spade bit or reciprocating saw with a general purpose blade, some wrenches to tighten everything down, and some Teflon tape to hopefully make it so nothing leaks. All right, so to start out, we're gonna cut off the top of this drum so we can reach in and tighten everything down, and we're gonna do that with the reciprocating saw. And, uh, so how are we gonna get this started, I guess? Just slow, or? Uh, I'll probably should put a pile of hole in. That's actually a really good idea. All right, so I'm gonna put a pile hole in my drill. And then hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier to get this started. And for that, we're going to use a one inch spade bit instead of the 13 16 in the introduction. And you're going to want to go about halfway in between this first little ring here and the base. We put these on pallets, um, and that then gets it to about shoulder height for the pig. That's like their ideal drinking position. And this doesn't need to be exact, just pick a point about halfway and drill it. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to take our drinker, we're gonna unscrew the back, and don't lose the spring here, and we're going to pull out this filter. Uh, that is just gonna end up getting clogged. So then what I do is there's this other little plastic piece in there that retains the filter is just take a drill bit and just sort of thread that into that hole there. I'm going to pry this out. So this is the piece, and you're left with this red piece that has three little holes, and we're going to open up that big hole to 964, and that's just to improve the flow so that the pigs can get more water every time they go to the, go get a drink. So and that's that after opening it up and the bleeding. Grab your Teflon, go around the threads a couple times, and make sure you're doing this the right way so that when you thread the other piece on, it actually tightens up the Teflon. Yeah, what you 
good. And then you're just gonna thread this together, grab your wrenches and tighten this up. So I got these tightened together. I'm gonna take my stainless steel washer and slip it over my brass fitting and then I'm gonna put that in the hole that I just drilled and try and get this lined up fairly straight. And then you're just gonna screw it in. You want it back on the ground? Not yet. Let's see if I can get it. And then you want it with the cup facing down and the opening facing up. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our O-ring, we're going to slip it over the brass fitting on the inside, and then take our copper fitting and push that up against the O-ring to try and form a tight seal. Alright, so we're going to take our O-ring and our copper fitting, and we're just going to slip the O-ring onto the brass, and then take the copper, and then we're going to take our wrenches and tighten that all up. So then we're going to go around and do that for each of the fittings. Right, so we've got all three of the drinkers attached with the copper and O-rings on the inside. So we're going to bring this out for the pigs and fill it up and see what they think. All right, so let's bring the hose over to the pigs. Get along. Just put that in there and make sure it doesn't uh, touch the ground and then you'll turn on the nozzle on the in there.
trying to eat your shoes. What's that? They're trying to eat your shoes. They're trying to eat my pants. Damn! Come on. Look at my only pants. There's still a slight leak out of this middle one but it's getting a little dark and it's definitely a lot better than the other one that they had which was just almost screaming. This guy here keeps trying to eat my shoes and my pants. So we're just gonna finish filling this drum up and then tomorrow I might try and come out here and see if I can't get this one tightened down a little bit more. But they know how to use them. They work, they can get some water. And then uh, where their old water was, they have that ground torn up pretty good. Guys. That's Warthog. Itchy pig.